guys check it out it's here 8k ds18 redu dual reducers zero gauge <laughs> i'm stoked um we're fixing to open it up but i know it's gonna work i ain't got all the stuff out of the car or nothing so it might take me a minute to do that and then uh after we open and look at it and stuff then i'll go out there and do all that it is cold i'm gonna have to put those coveralls of overalls over there on you know you guys know i am from florida like i lived there over 30 something years in south florida by close to west palm beach i was like 20 miles north of west palm beach in a town called stewart um it's like right by the beach it's a beautiful place to live a lot of famous people live on jupiter island down there like tiger woods uh greg norman burt reynolds used to have a place down there all that so you know, it's different for me living here in Kentucky. I've been living here for the past four or five years. Um, the winters really get to me. I, I've learned to deal with it. You know, you got to dress really warm. Like I said, those coveralls and stuff like that, you know. And when I first moved up here, I, I really didn't own that many pairs of jeans because um, it's so warm down there. Like I've left here in January to be 14 degrees and I uh, get to Florida like the next day where I'm from and uh, it'd be 85. <laughs> That's how extreme it is. Anyhow, we're going to open this up. We're going to check this out. Um, I'm I'm really excited. I can't wait. I'm, I'm thinking this thing's going to push the 15s. I, I got to just wall the car off. You know, I'm just going to have it hooked to the box at first, make sure everything's right, of course, and give it a listen to like that without the 10s, you know. You know, those 10s do give me like a dynamic sound because, you know, they're in the trunk and they're helping with the 15s but the 15s i already hooked up to that audio legion and it rated 1560 at one ohm so you know split that in two they're getting like 700 rms a piece that's you know with my electrical right and lately uh the smart three has been going in protect a lot because i only got those two um hold on a second i gotta put this out i only got the um Two regular car batteries, one's a plus. They're the Group 75s. They're small. That's what my car requires. One of them is what the car came with, and they're in the trunk. And that's how the car comes factory, because I got the Saturn Ion 3. It's got 2.4. It's got four coil packs, you know, overhead cam. It's a pretty quick little car. I've been having some troubles with it lately. Something with the fuel injectors might be, but it could be also the voltage thing, because I got those three amplifiers back there. And uh, even though the one battery I bought that's a plus is, you know, only a couple months old, it, and I got the 250 JS alternator, I don't think I have, they're, they're good, the capacity in them is big enough to store it. So between my car, what it needs for its electrical, and what the amps are pulling from it, from those batteries, I don't think they've really can truly charge like they're supposed to. So I'm going to go out today after I open this, before we take anything out of the car, or do we need to hook this up or any of that? I'm going to AutoZone. I'm not going to order an excess power battery or none of that. I want to, but I mean, they cost a little bit and I'm trying to, you know, be budgeted as I can with this build. You know, I already paid quite a bit for this 8K because this, this is brand spanking new. You know what I mean? That's almost $600. You know, with those reducers, it was a little over $600. So just letting you guys know, people that might want to purchase this. But yeah, the battery thing, um, I'm just going to get an AMG battery from AutoZone or O'Reilly's or Advanced Auto. Some of them got Odysseys, you know, I like those. I like the Yellow Top Optimas. Um, the Group 31s are pretty good. They do have a Group 75, but it's 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 got the same cranking. And it's got a little more cranking amps than the batteries that I got in there now. But I could link those together without that battery draining the other ones. Because they're in the same group, you know. So I've thought thought about that. But if I had one of those isolator things, which I don't have, I could actually get a bigger battery and put it in between those two batteries. So, but if I just get a bigger car auto battery, like a regular AMG, I'm gonna have to um, I'm gonna have to get an isolator or something. I mean, because it'll 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 drain the weaker batteries. You know what I mean? Oh, I've 
I don't know if you guys watch the, this guy's channel. I'm sure most of you guys do. You guys are all follow the same stuff I do. That's Bear Vids. You know, he's done stuff for uh, Big D Wiz and stuff. Um, he repairs amplifiers from the UK. If if you don't know about him, look him up. Subscribe to him. Um, this guy's good, man. I mean, if you want to know about amplifiers and if you got one that's messed up, this guy's here. This guy is the guy to talk to. His name's Sam. He's real good. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to go ahead and open this up real quick. Um, sorry I'm rambling on, but some, sometimes it's good to tell some of the newer guys that might not know about a lot of this stuff to explain some of the th stuff thoroughly, you know what I mean? That's why I do that. I know the guys that have been in car audio for years that subscribe to me. I know you guys know this stuff. But it, that's for people that, you know, might be getting their first system or only know a little bit. You know what I mean? Anyway, let's get this thing open. Check it out. I'm excited. All right, guys. I already got the plastic cut off. You see it's brand new. Still got the plastic here and everything. This is a Tar Amps MD. 8000.1D um, the 1 ohm version 4 gauge inputs for the speakers it's got a level here your RCA's inputs there um, your low pass I mean your high pass right here goes down to 30 it's got the uh, low pass goes down to 90 if you use the Pioneer that I got you can control the cutoff rate to 63 to fix for the sound quality it's got a bass boost you can set individual frequencies on this just to boost individual frequencies like say if you want to do 30 hertz and boost that signal if you're having a weak 30 hertz signal and you want it louder you can use this i don't use it but you can dual i mean not dual but uh two watt inputs so you need big wire for this you need big electrical for this but this is a 12.6 volt rated amplifier, unlike the base, um, base 8K of the same of tar amps. That one, you it's rated 14.4, so your electro, that electrical would have to be stronger to run it. That's why I got this one. Um, I'm going to go down and get an AMG battery here in a minute, so I can run this with my other two batteries. I got reducers, DS18 reducers. They're dual, zero to zero. They're pretty nice. They're heavy. That little box they're in, it, I could tell that they're they're good quality from the weight of them. So, get it out of the bag. Big Allen keys. You probably put two out in that. Looks like DS18. Nice stob on them. Flat. Flat on top, round around the sides. It's nice and round. This will fill up the hole really good. This is going to work perfect. Dual inputs of two zero gauge welding cable into that. This would be sufficient for ground and power because there's two of them. Comes with a warranty, of course. Didn't get a sticker. I was surprised. I've seen other people get this amp and they got a sticker with it. Uh, I'll just email tar amps like I did for the last two smart threes that I got. They didn't get no stickers and they'll send you some. They're pretty good about it. But, um, paid, like I said, a little, a little under 600 for this, but 600 with the, like 610 or something with the reducers or something like that. So let me go out and run out, go run down and get this battery. Real quick. All right. I just went to advanced auto and got this one. I was going to go to, um, AutoZone, but these Advanced Auto was closer, so I got this one. Die Hard Platinum AMG. This one's 900 cold cranking amps, 160 reserve capacity, 90 amp hours. It's an H8 AMG. Um, this thing's heavy as hell. I got the biggest one they had, so I can hook this thing up. They didn't have these. I'm going to have to order the ones where you can put the zero gauge in. I'm going to try to work with what wire I got in the car and and see what I can do. They didn't have lugs or nothing, so I'm going to have to order all that. Hopefully, I can make this work. I'm going to try. So, I mean, because the batteries I got definitely going to power this because I was just playing, 
playing a song. I was going to do a demo for you guys, but that Smart 3 keeps going and protect quick now. And I think it's because my voltage is dropping like real fast. I think I burnt those little two batteries out, you know, running those three amplifiers. But there's only going to be this amp and the four channel. So with this right here, I think I might be all right. This is a heavy battery, boy. It's got handles on it. I like this thing. I might end up getting probably three of these. I know you can run lithium or you can get them excess powers. I know it's none of that. But uh, try to do everything on a reasonable budget. I mean, I, I, I buy decent amps. These ain't the top of the line, top of the line. This ain't Sundown or none of that. You know, no Korean. But I love the Brazilian amps. They put out the, the power that I want. And that's all I'm looking for. You know, for the price I pay, if it la if this one works and it lasts, you know, six, seven months, it'd be worth it to me. By then, I'll probably want to upgrade anyway. You know how I do things. Anyway, I got to go out there and take all that stuff out. I mean, I I got this wire before I say that. This is that American Base Zero Gauge. It's pretty big. I don't know if I got any lugs for it, though. I mean, I got a box full of little miscellaneous stuff. Here's them reducers. I'm not going to use these. I think... Uh, hammer back one of these you can get them if you want i'll give them to you 20 bucks but i don't know if i got any lugs so i'm trying to make the i got these ones the only ones i've seen that the auto i went to different auto parts stores that you can put the wire in like that it's not the greatest uh i gotta have something though because my batteries are side post and this is top post i'm gonna get those ones that go on here that got the bus bar on it i'm gonna order those from amazon tonight but in the meantime, just to get this thing going, I'm going to use those. Try to put the, the lugs on the side. Try to put the lugs on the side of this bolt. If I, I, I don't know if I got a longer bolt. If I can make that work. Once you tighten it down, maybe this will press in more and I can put lugs on the side. I'm going to do it like that. Kind of cheesy for now, but we'll make it work, you know. Plus, I got these DS18 reducers. So, that's really good, you know. These things are heavy too. And these should go in good. Let me take one out, matter of fact. Oh yeah. I mean, the set screw is down, but I'm hitting right on the set screw. To see. Plenty of room. Because it this takes two aught and this is zero gauge. Or this is zero gauge. And that takes two aught. But it's gonna be like like that it's gonna look good boy it's gonna be good power for it too two runs of zero gauge welding cable all right enough yakking let's get this thing together i gotta get all that stuff out i don't know if i get all this done today i'm gonna try all right you guys i got it all out of the car look at this is the battery that came with my car it's a group 75 this thing ain't shit and i hooked the multimeter up between this one and and the other battery that i ran in parallel this one over here it uh they were only 12.5 after going uptown. Used to, they was, uh, when I'd come back, after I had the, the 250 all hooked up, it'd be like 13 and then start dropping. So I killed these batteries because they suck. You know, these two little batteries were running this amp, this amp, and the four channel amp. So, and this one, this is uh, what I got, what I, I didn't know at the time. You know, I didn't know a lot about AMGs and all that. So I try to keep the same group. I didn't know. And this is a plus, you know, but it ain't shit to run a 3000 watt amp, a 1500 watt, and then the 1200 watt four channel. You know what I mean? But now it's only gonna be the 8K, the four channel, this battery. I don't think I'm gonna hook either one of these other ones back up. Oh, and I actually do. I accidentally like, see the holes in it? I can get a replacement from Walmart for a year, but I don't know if they'll let me. I, I mean, I actually screwed into it. I've seen a little battery acid come out. And this is a, a, one of those vented batteries. But this one, see, this one's uh, 600 cranking amps, cold cranking amps, 750 cranking. It ain't got amp hours because they're just regular batteries. That's what I've been running my system off of, them two, these two batteries and all my videos. So... I just never broke down and got no AMGs, and I, I got the best AMG. They didn't have no yellow tops; they only had red tops. So, but I got the biggest 
platinum diehard that they had and this is the AMG it's still a lead acid battery it's non spillable 900 cranking without it's it's a 900 cold cranking a thousand cranking they don't have that on here but it is 160 reserve capacity 95 man fires manual says 370 to run this well I'll end up getting like a couple more of these you know throughout the weeks but we'll start with this one I think it should be sufficient I hooked the multimeter it was 12.61 with my high output alternator it should charge it pretty decent I'm not gonna turn this amp up to 8,000 either because I only got them two XFL 15s they're together they're only 3,000 RMS so I might set it maybe 4,000 you know about half of what this does just at first just to run it till I get more batteries because I don't want it to be clipping all the time and that'll make it that should make it hit pretty hard anyway plus I got you know all zero gauge welding cable that's going to go on those dual reducers so we'll be straight and I'm going to run two runs of the zero gauge hooked up into two anal fuses 300 amp fuses so you know I think this says 370 for the fuse rating but if I run two runs, that's for like one run of two aught, if you're just using it that way. So two runs of zero gauge welding cable with two 300 amp fuses should be sufficient. If it isn't, then I'll just upgrade to 400 amp fuses. You know, I got my two fuse blocks there. Um, I'm going to try to set it up wired different. You know, I'm not putting the 10s back in. I'm just going to try to run the 15s in this. So... But I like this battery, man. I mean, it ain't no excess power, nothing like that, you know. Maybe sooner or later I'll get one of those limited uh, lithiums or whatever. I know lithium's way lighter. I know this is this thing weighs like 60-something pounds. But, um, you know, it was convenient. I didn't have to wait for it to come in. And I just got the amp, and I, I, I didn't have the money at first to get the battery, but I did today, and I ain't waiting for it to come in. So we're just going to run this. I, how many of you guys run batteries like this like the Duracells the Duralast you know I bet you this thing works pretty good man we're fixing to test it out I mean I'm gonna try it's 430 and it is cold as hell I got like a whole coveralls jacket and everything on I mean no sun out today tomorrow's gonna be warmer so if I don't get it done today I will I promise I'll post this tomorrow and if you guys are seeing it tomorrow then you know I'm sorry I couldn't get it on Saturday like I promised but it's only so much time in the day, guys. It took me a little while to get all this out. It looks dirty back here, don't it? I want to make this all wood. Like, there is wood here, see? But the other piece goes here. That way you can have access to the batteries, you know? But I want to have, I really want to have one battery here. I might put the regular car battery here. I don't know. Or I might just run that one AMG for now. Because these, this right here goes from the alternator. Right from the positive post. That's zero gauge welding cable. And then this one also goes from the alternator this is the original factory and this is see it's four gauge it's copper so that's why i left it so it's more power and then here's zero gauge welding cable going to the chassis um all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and put this video up tonight and uh show you guys that i got it in i haven't been able to test it yet because i didn't hook this battery up yet I had to take everything out of the car. I just took that six gauge wire right there off of uh, the uh, off the tens, and I'm gonna use that for the fifteens. I was gonna take these out the box tonight, but I'm and put them in the original box. But I might just leave them in here for tonight. I got the 8K right here, and then the Smart Threes inside this box, and then the Audio Legions in there. I'm gonna carry those in. Um, but it's it's 647 and it's dark out i had a problem with the other side post battery see it's dark it's cold too so tomorrow's supposed to be a little sunny and a little warmer so i'll get up early and get this done i gotta go up town and get some better parts get some better things better ones that got like bus bars if i can find them and some zero gauge lugs because uh that other battery, this one right here, this was my problem. Why my uh, Smart 3 was going in to protect. Um, I can hook the multimeter up to it and it reads 12 point. It was 12.5. I think it's down to 12.3. But when I had this one and the other one that I got just like this, the plus one. Because this is the original battery that came with the car. The other one I bought. 
Now the the when I had them both together, they were reading 12.5, both of them. So this one was pulling the other one down. But now that they're separate, this one dropped voltage to 12.3, maybe less now. And uh, the other one's 12.6. So it's it's fine. And I it ain't that old. I ain't had it that long. So this was the problem. I just needed to take this one out. So I'm going to run that other one and and have it down where the down to the bottom where it goes and then have positive and the ground coming up to this one and then from this one run to the amplifiers but i need more wire i need well i got wire i just need more lugs i think um and also i gotta figure out something for the side post thing some better bolts because this one did it too it strips out the the bolts that i put in there so you can't never get a real tight that's why i hate freaking side post batteries but i don't know maybe i'll figure out how to weigh this and i'll just run this one but it would be better if i had this one and that other plus not this one but that one one i got the other one i showed you guys but i got all my stuff here i got these reducers here our audio pipe and they're four gauge to eight gauge good for speakers you know i might use them and these big ones in here these are zero gauge to zero gauge and they're audio pipes those ones so and then you guys seen these which i don't like those and i got the brand new ds18 ones and those are awesome these these are awesome right here i got the big stubs on them so those are those are what i'm going to use on the 8k but i'll test it out and get everything hooked up tomorrow it's ran out of time tonight guys I'm tired too. It's been a long day. I had to get all this stuff out of the car. I had to do some other things this morning. So, and it was, I was actually waiting for it to warm up and it never did. So, you know, kind of wasted time waiting for that. But tomorrow it's supposed to be warmer and sunny out. I'm going to get this stuff hooked up. It ain't going to be that hard to hook up the 8K and the, and the 4 channel back up, which I still got the speaker wire of the 4 channel. I just took the power out of it. I just got to get these batteries connected right. That's that's going to be the hardest part is getting the batteries set up on this. Once I get that set up, then the rest is cake. Then I can work on, uh, if it sounds good and it plays good, I can work on um, um, the walling it off, you know, sealing it off or whatever, you know. So anyway, maybe I'll throw a little demo on here, one of the past demos that I've done. You know, it ain't going to be nothing from today because I haven't, I played some music on the way uptown, but like I said, the amp kept going to protect because that battery right there, um, is definitely dead. I mean, it's a 2019 battery. It was in, say, it says April 2019 and I've been, you know, killing these batteries. I needed one of these things a long time ago. I need like three of these. We'll see how one does it first with that other battery. This one's 95 amp hours, so. <clears throat> So anyway, I'll probably be, if it, if it sounds good, if the 15s work good, then I'll, I'll be selling this. I'll, I'll fix this box up a little bit, clean it up, or I'll just sell it as is. It's a good box. Like I said before in my other video, these, and, the, and these, these two tins, these XFL tins ain't that old. So I'll, I'll sell them on the low. I'm not real low, you know, but they ain't that old, especially with that birch box I built. But, uh. That's the plan, guys. So, but at least it's here. And at least I got one AMG battery to start with. It's not, like I said, it's not excess power, but it's going to have to work for now. Uh, so, appreciate all the new subscribers. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. Appreciate all the support from you guys. Um, let me know what you guys got in your builds. Uh, I know a lot of you have already, and a lot of you guys got similar stuff. A lot of you guys got the 8Ks and uh, XFL subwoofers. Some of you guys got 10s. Some of you guys got 15s. Some of you guys got sound quib. I mean, I like all, I like all that stuff, you know. Anybody's stuff. I've been trying to, when I got free time, because I'm always so busy, I try to go on there and subscribe to you guys. When I see you comment, I check out your channel. You know, see what you got. I subscribed to a few of you all recently, so. <clears throat> I just, you know, I just love the bass head community, period. It's just fun, you know. And one day we'll meet up at one of these shows, you know what I mean? 
but until then dudes check out this old demo you got some of you guys that's been subscribers probably already seen it but i, I always like throwing one at the end and um i'll post another video tomorrow night um because i'm gonna put that ak in for sure <laughs> i'm getting up early i'm gonna I'm have the coffee pot set for six o'clock i'm gonna be out here by eight so i gotta go uptown like i said and buy some uh lugs some zero gate lugs and uh hopefully some bus bar terminals right there so anyway i'll catch you guys in the next one which will be tomorrow and tell them guys leg this is dj